All right, what's up guys? So if you've traded options for a little while, you probably understand that any kind of pullback against you can be pretty painful, right? You take a setup, you take your entry, and the slightest pullback against you just destroys your options. And that can be really frustrating, especially when the whole setup that you're trading is still valid, is still in place, but you're getting knocked out of the game, getting knocked out of that position because your options are just getting freaking destroyed. So in this video, guys, we're gonna talk about how to survive a pullback against you as an options trader. All right, guys, so let's take a look at a setup that I got a position in right now. So Amazon is broken above the 15 and the 50 period moving average. And when stocks break above both of those moving averages, I like to get positioned for a potential trend. So Monday morning, guys, I got a position here in Amazon. Right, right around here, that's when I took my long position. Now, obviously by looking at the charts, I haven't been right so far. Amazon hasn't moved in my direction and it pulled back Tuesday, it pulled back Wednesday, it pulled back Thursday, and it pulled back Friday. So obviously this trade hasn't quote unquote gone in my direction yet, but the one thing I want you guys to think about before we jump into things here is the whole idea, right? The whole thought process, the whole you know foundation of this trade is that Amazon is trading above the 15 and the 50 period moving average. That trend, that setup, that idea is still perfectly intact and perfectly valid as long as Amazon is closing above both of those moving averages. So just understand that, guys. I took my entry on Monday under the you know, thought process that because Amazon has broken above these moving averages, that it could be making a new trend to the upside. And despite the fact that it pulled back against me, I'm still not, you know, wrong so to say the setup is still right there in front of me this whole potential trend regardless of the fact that it pulled back is still completely valid because despite friday's pullback we still closed above the 50 and we still closed above the 15 period moving average so you know this is what happens a lot guys we take entries on a bigger picture setup the stock pulls against us and while the whole setup and the whole idea you know the original idea is still on the table that pullback destroys your options. Now, the way that I avoid right, getting stopped out of my trades so easily is instead of buying options, as any of you guys have been following me for a while know, I like to sell options. So instead of buying calls here on Monday, what I did is I sold puts below the 15, below the 50, down here at 17.65, right? So instead of buying calls, I sold the put spread. So all that I need Amazon to do is close anywhere above 1765 by this coming Friday's expiration, and I'm going to make a little over $1,000. The 1765 puts that I shorted are go to zero. The 1760s I bought as protection go to zero, and the difference between the two will be my $1,000 profit. This was a pullback against me. I went long essentially on Monday. It came against me Tuesday. It came against me Wednesday. It came against me Thursday and it came against me Friday. Now, like I said, despite the fact that it came against me, guys, Amazon's still above the 15. It's still above the 50. The current potential trend hasn't reversed, right? As long as we're holding above those moving averages, this potential reversal and this potential trend to the upside is still there. Because I sold puts below the 15 and below the 50, I'm perfectly fine, right? Heading into this week, as long as we don't drop and close below 1765, I'm going to make my $1,000 as the puts on my spread go to zero. But what do we typically do, guys, as new options traders? Or what do many of you guys typically do? When you want to go long a stock, you tend to buy calls, right? Here's what can be tough about that. We're all in agreement here that this potential trend, while obviously not moving in our direction, it's still intact, right? The whole idea here is that we're above these moving averages, and as long as we're closing above them, we could make a new trend to the upside. Despite pulling back for four days, still above the 50, still above the 15, your original idea is still on the table. But when we buy options, guys, you buy a call and you buy a put, any kind of pullback against you is a general statement, just completely takes you out of the game. And right when we're trading here around 1800, 1810 on Monday, let's take a look at what would have happened uh, you know, if instead of selling puts, you did what most traders do, which is buy calls, right? Let's take a look at what this pullback did to some of those calls, and it's not pretty. 
Alrighty guys, let's take a look here at the carnage. So instead of selling puts there on Monday, say you want to jump into a call, right? You're confident that Amazon's going to move higher. You jump into a call. Now remember guys, the original trade is still on the table. The setup is still valid. Now Monday morning, if you had bought an 1800 strike call, you're paying around 30 bucks. As of Friday's close, that pullback brought those calls rather that pullback brought those 1800 calls from $30 to $8.20 at the close. Those calls got hit by 73%. So this little pullback would have given you a 73% loss on those 1800 calls. Let's say you wanted to be a little bit more aggressive and you go a little bit out the money and you bought an 1810 call. Well, Monday morning, guys, you're paying about 25 bucks for that call. And what did this pullback do? It brought that call from 25 to 520. That's an 80% loss. And as you can see, this just gets worse you know, against you the further out the money you go. Monday morning, you buy an 1820 strike call, few strikes out the money. You're paying $20 for that contract. As of Friday's close, it's worth three bucks and change. That's an 84% loss. So if we take a look back at Amazon's daily chart, guys, if you had bought any of those calls for this coming Friday's expiration, at the monies, in the money, a few strikes out, they got destroyed, right? The 1800s, the 1810s, the 1820s, those calls got destroyed, right? We can pretty much say they almost went to zero, you know, damn close enough. This is what's tough, guys. As an options trader, when you buy calls and you buy puts, you got to understand that in a lot of ways, you need the stock to move in your favor very quickly, right? Again, we're above the 15, we're above the 50, you take your entry, despite the fact that Amazon's pulled back, right? We closed above both those moving averages Friday, so the potential trend is still intact here. We haven't closed below the moving averages, so the idea is still on the table, but as you guys can see, if you're buying a call, right, and you're trading this thing directionally here, you're already out of this trade, right? Or to make matters worse, you're holding on to a position that is most likely going to go to zero. That's what makes this so tough, is that we're getting stopped out of our trades, not because we were wrong, right? Not because the original setup or the original trade idea is off the table, but because we're buying options that just can't withstand anything going against you. So that's kind of the corner you back yourself into, guys, sometimes. You buy a call, you buy a put, that fucking thing better move in your direction, and it better do it quickly. So we're getting stopped out of trades. You're losing 50, 60, 70, 80 to 90% of your capital, not because the trend reversed, not because the setup broke down or anything like that, just a normal pullback. So, you know, I don't want you guys to, um, you know, don't fool yourselves, right? Let's not fool ourselves into thinking that every time we buy a call or that every time we buy a put, every time we enter a trade, that the stock is going to do nothing but move in your favor immediately. Nine times out of 10 guys, there's going to be consolidations. There's going to be dips. There's going to be pullbacks against you. And just understand that when you buy an option, sometimes you really can't survive that normal pullback. Now, of course, could Amazon break down here this coming week? It definitely could. Could it come down below 1765 and take me out of the game? It absolutely could. But this is what I'm talking about here. You take your entry, you get a normal pullback that doesn't destroy the setup. It doesn't destroy the trend but you can't survive it because your option just gets destroyed. And the chances, guys, of those options going back to break even for you is very, very low, regardless of what kind of move that Amazon makes over the next few days. So I went long on Monday, but instead of buying those calls, I sold those puts. So selling puts, guys, is a way to be dead wrong, have a stock completely come against you, and hell, right? It could break below the 15 in the 50 next week. So I could be dead wrong. The trend could actually break, but as long as we close above 1765, I'm going to make that thousand dollars. Now, I shorted uh, puts here, right? So we saw what happened to the calls. They got destroyed. So some of you guys may be thinking, well, man, you shorted puts. You got a put spread. Those puts that you shorted must have rocketed this week, right? You must really be in the hole. Not so much. Let's take a look at that. All right, so let's take a look at this, guys. And when you begin to understand how options really work, this is how you can start stacking the odds in your favor. So I've been dead wrong so far. I sold puts way down here, and all Amazon has done is move to the downside. But if you check this out, guys, right? On Monday, I shorted those 1765 puts when they were worth $5.40. You might be thinking because Amazon's dropped here, those puts must have rocketed, right? You must be deep in the hole. 
Not at all. If you take a look at the options chain, despite coming against me four days in a row, those 1765s, guys, they're still pretty far out the money. And they've gone from my 540 entry, and they've only gone up to $6.60. So this thing falls for four or five days in a row, and those puts only gain 22% value, right? So the calls are getting destroyed, but because I shorted puts below the moving averages, below the current price, they're really not gaining all that much value. So on this spread, guys, my max loss is about $5,000 or so. If we take a look here, it's gone against me every single day. I'm down about $400, right? So compared to my max loss of 5,000 or so, I'm down less than 10%. So that guys, you know, when you learn how to trade options and you learn how to sell options, this is how you can survive a pullback. I'm going long here on Monday, but I'm selling these puts way below the current price, way below the key moving averages. So a pullback doesn't really affect me at all. I'm going to make my thousand bucks here as long as we close above 1765. You don't necessarily even need this stock to move in the direction that you think it's going to do. But obviously, guys, if you think Amazon's going to move higher and you buy a call, you better pray that that thing does exactly what you think it's going to do, and it better do it soon without any kind of interruption. If you bought an 1800 call, you're in the hole big time. You buy an 1810 call, you're done. You buy an 1820 call, you're done. And obviously, the further out the money options, those calls are probably at zero right now. So something to keep in mind, guys, as we get into options game, right? I remember when I got into options five, six years ago, we tend to start with just buying calls. And we just tend to start with, you know, simply buying puts. But when you begin to learn more about how options work, you'll start to realize that that's a tough game, right? It's a tough game to try to make a consistent living from. There's a time and a place for it. But when a stock simply doesn't move in your favor, and you can lose 50 to 80 to 90% of your investment, it's tough to create consistency that way, guys. So this is my trade I got on right now. I survived last week's pullback. We'll see if I survive this coming week, right? Would love to get that $1,000 paycheck, but that's that for you guys. So I hope you enjoy your weekend. If you're not in the Focus Trades family yet, you can click the link in the description and come rock with us for a few weeks. Enjoy your weekend, guys. I'll talk to you all in the next video.